Yo, what up, boy gamers out there? The name's Second Heat, and this is a late Tekken's top three of the week video. Um, I should have posted this up yesterday and recorded it yesterday, but sadly, I kind of lost. I kind of lost track of things. So sorry about that. But today, I'm bringing you guys my Tekken's top three of the week. Although it's kind of different today. This is kind of a special. Um, yesterday I was on. I was looking at Game Informer, and they were talking about um their best of the years of for 2013 and i decided to do a video on that <clears throat> now i'm not going to mention three things i'm going to mention uh their full category of stuff well kind of um it's basically everything of the overall year so you'll know what i'm talking about so the first thing i want to mention was for 2013's RPG Best of the Year, Game Informer had chose Pokemon X and Y, the D the popular DS games that all the kids and teenagers and some adults still love to play. Pokemon is in my opinion in my opinion, I'm not too much of a Pokemon fan anymore. I um uh, my time has run has run off and uh, I guess people still love the game. You know, I'm not. I'm not knocking the game. Uh, I do so believe it is still a great game. It's just not a game I'm uh, fully into anymore. So, sadly, I'm pretty sure it's still a good game. That's why it was voted RPG's 2013 Best of the Year. Now, for the sports, which I'm not into. I'm not a sports in IRL in real life. Or in gaming, but I'm pretty sure there are some people who love sports games. And Game Informer had chose for their best of the year in the sports category uh, to FIFA 14, a very, very, very popular soccer game that many people or many soccer players love to play. Um, I'm not sure if there are any so um, competing soccer games. Once again, I'm not into the whole sports scene of video games and in real life. But I know that FIFA is a pretty good game to those who love to those who love sports games, and that is why it won 2013 Sports of the Year for a Game Informer. Now for the action, and this I I kind of agree with it. Um, the reason why I say kinda is because um, well you'll you'll see as soon as I say who the winner is. The winner for 2013 Action of the Year game goes to The Last of Us. Now, the reason why I say I kind of agree with that is because, yes, The Last of Us was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. Um, I've seen many gameplays of it. I've seen the entire walkthrough. Sadly, I do not have the availability of getting the game, so I decided to watch it, the entire thing. It felt like a movie to me I think that was like an outstanding game now the reason why I say I kind of agree with this vote is because um Grand Theft Auto 5 was also in this cat <clears throat> was also in this category and I think like that must have been a great debate on who should have won Last of Us or Grand Theft Auto because Grand Theft Auto still is a big is a big talk uh, many people love to play it, uh, so, single-player or multiplayer, everyone's still loving the game. Um, I guess you could say the same thing for Last of Us, even though I think Last of Us is only single-player. I'm not sure if it has a multiplayer at all, but I guess that was a big debate, but in the end, at least a good game actually won uh, 2013's Action Game of the Year. So, Game Informer... I say you did make a good choice, even though I in my in my eyes I think GTA probably should have won. Now, for the racing games, uh, racing games is something I'm somewhat into. Uh, I used to be very I used to love the racing scene a lot, um, especially in video games. But slow but that's been slowly going down. Although I really want to come back up when the crew come when the crew and drive club. Eh, Drive Club comes out, but anyways, we're not talking about we're not talking about me and my and future stuff. We're talking about what is the best 
2013 Game Informer's Choice Racing Game of that year, and the winner was Need for Speed Rivals. Now, in my point of view, I disagree with that. I have seen Need for Speed Rivals. I think it wasn't that great of a game. Um, by the looks of things, it didn't seem that great of a game. It seemed like a rushed game, and the um, as opposed to like the progression seemed like crap. Um, I'm one. Of the, I was one of those Need for Speed fans who loved the um, street racing days and how they had like the whole customizing thing. Need for Speed Rivals and recent Need for Speeds has lacked that. Um, in my opinion, I think that was a bad choice for uh, racing for 2013's racing game of the year. But you know, whatever. I can't. I can't do anything about it. Just in my point of view, I think that should not have won. Um, I say you should have probably given it to Forza or probably given it to um, Grid. I would have honestly chosen Grid too because Grid Two is a pretty beast game and. Even though I do not have the game, I've seen many gameplays of it, and that game looks far better than Need for Speed Rivals. Now, the next next category is for the shooters. Now, for the shooters, um, this one I actually really agree. I really agree with it, even though I really haven't played this game. Um, but I still think this one really deserved that win. And for 2013, the best shooter game of the year from from for Game Informer's choice goes to Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Infinite. And I totally agree with that. Bioshock seems like a very magnificent perfection game. I truly agree with that. Even though I love playing Call of Duty, I still think Bioshock tramples over all other shooters of 2013. So Game Informer, you made a perfect choice. Um, I can't wait to see what your choice is going to be for 2014 because Destiny and um, Titanfall are going to be coming out. So I really want to see which one you're going to choose over those two. Now, for overall, the overall game of 2013, Game Informer chose The Last of Us. And looking at all the, cho at all the best games for each category for the... RPG, sports, actions, racing, and shooters. Um, I, I'm not sure there were more. From what I found, these are the categories I saw. But from all those categories, The Last of Us is definitely the best. Um, I think the perfect second would have been Bioshock. Uh, but Last of Us, that's just, one, that's just one of the games that you cannot argue with. That's one of the games you cannot say is a bad game. Like, dude, that is a legit movie. You get so connected in, into that game. I think that's probably why it did beat um, GTA. Because that one had a more connection. It had a more, you know, like, it was you. Like, you really wanted to save um Ellie's life. You really want you enjoyed going through the entire survival experience. That was probably that's probably why it actually beat GTA, even though GTA had like that fun um you know friend friendship mo well I probably wouldn't say friendship but that fr that fun, you know, get together with your online friends and stuff moments. But Last of Us, out of all the other games, that probably was the best choice you had. So, Game Informer, give you a thumbs up on that. You guys made a good decision. I totally agree with your choice. And let me know what you guys what you guys think. Uh, who should have won RPG? Who should have won the sports? Who should have won the action? Who should have won the racing, shooters, and the overall best game of the year? So until next time, this has been your boy taking heat. I'm out. Peace.